Okay, hello, this is Miss Cruz. For this lab, we're going to do the one that is called conduction spoons. So you need to have three spoons or three things that look like spoons. So you need a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, I only have a plastic fork, and then a wooden spoon. So I'm using this little stick. Okay, so you need to have these things. And then you need a cup of hot water. As you can kind of see the steam, it's really hot. And then we need some butter. So here's the butter. Okay, so be very careful because you do need super hot water. So now what you do is you're going to put all three of these spoons in the hot water. Each spoon will have a little piece of butter on the end. And you're going to observe which one is melting the butter the fastest. So you're going to cut some butter. If you don't have butter, you can use margarine or cheese. It will work either way. Just get a little piece. I'm gonna stick it. Each one. Okay, now it's ready. And the same thing for this one. We're gonna put them in there and we're gonna see which one melts the butter the fastest. Okay, so now we're just gonna sit back and watch it and see which one melts the butter the fastest. Let's remember. A few weeks ago, I think it was in week four packet, we went over insulators and conductors. Insulators being things that don't let heat transfer through them, and conductors things that let heat transfer through them. Okay, so insulators kind of trap heat, don't let it pass through them, and conductors, they do let heat pass through them, and they put it from one place to another. So in this experiment, you have three things. You have the wood, the metal, and the plastic. So we're trying to figure out which one is the best conductor. Which one is going to take the heat from the hot water in the cup and put it up to the butter. Whichever one of these materials, the wood, the metal, or the plastic, melts the butter the fastest, that means that is the best conductor. The best material that is transferring the heat from the water up to the butter. Okay, so we're still watching. Let's see which one melts it the fastest. Oh, I see the butter moving now. I see the butter on the metal spoon. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh! and melted right off. Let's see if I can put it back on there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's not gonna stick. That is so melted. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So, we know now that for sure the metal one is melting the butter, but the one for the wood pretty much looks the same. And the one for the plastic looks the same, but we know for sure the butter is melting. You can see that. It like changed color completely and it did slip off. <laughs> so just looking at this experiment, we know for sure that the metal spoon is the best conductor. It actually got the heat from the water and it transferred it up. Yeah, the spoon is warm if you touch it. And then it transferred it to the butter. And since the butter is touching the spoon, that is touching the water. That is hot. It takes the thermal energy, because the metal is a conductor. And then we call that type of heat transfer conduction, because they are touching each other. And the plastic, spoon, fork, they don't really get warmer. The wood, 
It is a little warmer, but it just mostly feels wet. But the metal feels the hottest. Like, if I leave my finger there, I feel like it's going to get hurt. Okay. So, the experiment was conduction spoons. And the best conductor was the metal spoon. So, now we have another question. So, if you were eating ice cream, and you had to pick a spoon of this type, which spoon should you pick if you don't want your ice cream to melt? Yeah, so just think about it. You're eating ice cream, your ice cream's frozen, and you don't want it to melt. So which spoon would be the best at preventing the ice cream to melt? Because remember, when you're eating ice cream, let's pretend this is a spoon, you hold it with your hand, and then the other end is getting the ice cream. So the heat from your hand could be transferred through the spoon to your ice cream if it's metal. Because we saw that happen to the butter when it slipped off. The, the plastic one doesn't really feel hot. There's no melting. For the wood one, it feels a little hot. But the butter is still pretty much intact in them. This one is the one that melted and it slipped off. So I don't know if you guys ever ordered the, the like ice cream from the ice cream man that goes to Hillview. Um, they always give you... A wooden spoon. I don't know if you guys noticed, like a little wooden spoon you can get the ice cream from. That is because they don't want you to transfer the heat from your hand through the spoon to your ice cream because it will melt it. So that's why they always give you try to give you a wooden spoon. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That the metal spoon is the best conductor, and that's the one that's melting the butter because it's getting the thermal energy from the hot water, transferring it up the spoon to the butter. All right, bye guys. Good luck if you're doing the lab or if you're watching me, make sure you write down the observations. Okay, see ya.